Okay, my outstanding friends, how far will I go to prove the, the things that I say? Well, I'll injure myself. How about that? <laughs> okay, I've been talking about catalase. Look at how involved that little chemical is. And if that is not exactly identical to that configuration, it doesn't work. But when it does work, it liberates oxygen, just absolutely unbelievable. And that is made by a bacteria that lives in your body and creates catalase, which is an enzyme. And that enzyme is so reactive, you won't believe it. Now, what does it react with? Blood. What did I do right there? I have a little cut. I'm going to hit that with some hydrogen peroxide, and you're going to see the catalase in my blood which is an enzyme, will attack the hell out of that hydrogen peroxide and bubble it off and get rid of all of the excess oxygens. Because H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. H2O is water. So we got an extra oxygen. We got to get rid of it. So it attacks the, 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 the catalase in my blood will attack the hydrogen peroxide that I am about to put in here. All right, so here goes. I'm going to get it, set it up in a microscope. Hold on. All right, get ready. I got a little cut here, and I'm going to put some hydrogen peroxide on. You should see that foam up like crazy. Here goes. And do you do? You see that? Look at that. That shows that the catalase within my body is reacting to that hydrogen peroxide is saying, no, you can't come in here. No extra oxygen in here. Look at that. It's killed all that hydrogen peroxide virtually almost instantly. And now it's pretty much turned it to water. That's its whole purpose. Now, if I dried that up for a second and get that out of there and see if I can get a little more blood come out. Still, we got a little blood coming out of there now. There we go. Now, I'm going to put a little more hydrogen peroxide on. I'll do the same thing again because the hydrogen, the new hydrogen peroxide I will put on there, will also have the extra oxygens. You don't, you don't want those in your body. You see it? Look. That only happens because of life. That doesn't happen from just nothing. It's, it's the enzymes in your life that is attacking that oxygen. All right, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to prove to you that the things that I'm showing you were alive, and here's how I can prove it. Bacteria are living cells. They have the capability of consuming waste, which is this, these catalases of different types reproducing, actually producing enzymes. The bacteria, better said, bacteria are the factories that produce enzymes. You have to have them or you're not going to be healthy. Enzymes are not alive. You need the bacteria to continuously produce them. And bacterias produce enzymes and enzymes are proteins. Let me show you. All right, remember this. Enzymes are proteins. Now we know the enzymes come from bacteria. Bacteria are living little single cell creatures. They create the enzymes. The enzymes are not alive. They are proteins comprised of amino acids, which are little blocks of chemistry. They're all linked together in one or more polypeptide chains. Just like that. The sequence of acids is in the chain is called the primary structure. This is it right here. In turn, it determines the three-dimensional structure of the enzyme, including the shape of the active site. Let's look at that. All right, I'm going to just make it as simple as I possibly can. Protein structures come out of the rear end of an enzyme. Just like that. And they have all different molecular signatures, magnetic signatures to them. Once they all are done and come out, they go and they create a chemical 
twist, like all kinds of tw twisting. And these things are long. They're not just this long. They're bazillion miles long. And, well, look at the, here's, here's some of, of what they look like. Look at this. This is what they look like. It's not just this one little squiggly. This is the kind of stuff. Now, what is that molecule? Why is it so complicated? It has all of these different magnetic signatures. So there might be a plus, minus, minus, plus, 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 minus, 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 plus, 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 plus. And what it does is as that big glob of little magnetic particles is roaming through your bloodstream, and it's tiny, you, you know, it looks huge, right? It's, it's almost nothing there, it's tiny. You'd be surprised how small things are. It goes roaming around through your blood, and if it's with this magnetic signature, if it sees another one that it wants to attack, or it wants to break down, or whatever it wants to do with it, it, pick, it clicks right to it because of the magnetic centers. It locks on, and at that point, it converts it. And if any other ones are in the area, it converts all of them at exactly the same time, they're just like the speed of light. If they're, t if they're able to magnetically control it in that region, if the field affects it, see, we used to call them field effect transistors. So if the field affects the transistor, it, it turns the transistor on. And the same thing here, if the field affects the, the molecule that you want to affect, they all go at the same time, speed of light. All right, I have or I will show you that hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, attacks red-blooded creatures. So in our red blood, we have something to attack back. It's called catalase. This is it right here. It's an enzyme. It's created from bacteria. If you don't have this, you can't fight back against the oxygen that's trying to invade you. I'm going to show you how the oxygen is going to be boiled right off because of these enzymes. If you have these enzymes, you have bacteria. If you have bacteria, that means there's life in that blood cell or that alveoli or whatever I show boiling up with oxygen. And the only way it's going to do it is from catalase. It's not, nothing's going to make the oxygen boil off just accidentally. You put it on something else that doesn't have any life. It's always because of life trying to protect itself boiling out that oxygen. I actually do it on my own blood. I show it, it can't be denied.